Hi and welcome back to Free Do Hub. As you know, we have started a new course on ethical hacking. We are learning the basics of ethical hacking. The main motive of this course is to teach you the basics of ethical hacking so that you can protect your infrastructure. All the techniques and tools which are taught in this course are purely for academic purposes. So kindly make sure that you are using it for academic purposes. Now we'll cover reconnaissance today. Uh, there are two subcategories of reconnaissance. One is active reconnaissance and the other one is passive reconnaissance. Now the reconnaissance means to gather the information about your target without affecting the target or without letting them know that you are collecting any information about them. When we talk about active reconnaissance, active reconnaissance involves the penetration and actual involvement with the target when they can actually see that what you're doing because when they engage in active reconnaissance they are actually harming the systems but we'll be covering passive reconnaissance today passive reconnaissance is only about gathering the information about your target now there is plenty of information available on the internet with the help of which we get all those details about our targets and uh, um, we'll use google and we'll use some other tools in order to see how can we gather the information that we are looking for um, in order to cover that we have this website which is archive.org and here they have lots of information related to any content which was posted on a website rather it's related to the books videos audio software or images or whatever but we are mostly interested on this uh, wayback machine which is holding different snapshots of the previously hosted websites and how they looked like actually um, years ago as compared to what uh, they are at the moment uh, so if we'll see, uh, for example, if I'm entering www.xsite.com, um, that's a website that I used to access way back in 2000 and 2005, etc. Uh, let's see if it has any related information or any snapshots of that website available on their uh, databases. Now, as you can see, it has loaded the snapshots that is available for that specific website. Uh, and this is uh, talking about the different archives which they are maintaining uh, divided by the uh, previous year. So if we are going back all the way to 2001, uh, let's see if they have something and uh, these are the snapshots for uh, those timings. So if I'll for example go on um, 7th of uh, July, so these are the different snapshots that they have maintained on their websites and the total number of snapshots for that website are uh, 2,962. Uh, so if I'll click on uh, this one, it would load the website uh, which looked like at that specific date um, as you can see the basic information is appearing on it and uh, uh, you can browse and read some basic details uh, and the information which was posted on it uh, further you can even check the um, full portfolio for the stocks etc that what were the prices on that specific date now since it's a snapshot only you'll be able to see the information only which is available on this specific date uh, if i'll click on this uh, um, uh, top bar over here it's still talking about all these different dates and the snapshots that it's maintaining so you can browse the website according to the to, uh, to the different dates um, now the main focus of this website is that if for example any information was leaked out through a website on a specific date and it was there in the news and later they removed that information from their website from these kind of archives you can go and find that specific information which was posted on that specific date on that website uh, so that's the main purpose of it uh, we call it dumpster diving as well it's a uh, kind of uh, dumpster diving as well where we try to find out the details from the old archives of the specific websites uh, and the information which was posted on it. 
Now let's move towards Google uh, and see how Google helps us in finding uh, uh, the details uh, related to different uh, kind of data that we are looking for and the information that we have. Now if we want to find uh, a login page for example on a specific website um, we can type in in title so that it's in the title of the page where the title of the page for example says uh, login and then we'll say site and we can say google.com uh, so what it would do is that it would look for all the pages where the page title is login on the site which is google if you'll press ok you can see it's cloud.google it's books.google it's admin.google so it's showing us all the different websites which are hosted on google which has the title as login and it is available on this website so if you want to search for a website on a specific title of the page uh, you can get this information now that's openly available for everyone and that's how the hackers try to uh, gather the information about your website uh, your company and any specific information which is available on uh, your website now the second example we would see over here is that if we want to find out specific file types on a web page uh, for example if i'm looking for a pdf uh, document on a website i'll first of all type uh, the address of the website and i'll type for example excite.com and then i'll type file type and then i'll have semicolon after that and i'll type pdf so now it's searching on excite.com if any documents like pdf are available on their servers press ok and as you can see over here it's showing that pdf 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 so all pdf documents which are listed on their website are loaded over here that's how you can find out the word documents excel sheets and rest of the information um, which is available on a specific website now likewise um, uh, as we did on uh, way back uh, um, computing or the archive.com uh, where we found out the old snapshots of the website uh, google is also uh, keeping the uh, information related to the websites in the uh, cache registers of it so in order to check that you'll type in um, cache and then you'll type in for example dot bbc.com and once you'll enter it would load the website which is in the cache uh, now it happens that if a website is down due to any reason but you want to see that what information was posted on it today um, you can check it from the um, cache registers of the website uh, so that's how we get the details from the cache now if we want to find any url in information for example if we have a website and uh, we want to find all the related information related to two entities or one entity we can find it in the uh, all url um, uh, advanced uh, operators of google so i'll type in all and then i'll type in in url all in url and now i'll type for example i want to get some information about on cnn or any information which was posted on cnn related to gulf and press enter it would show all the websites which have cnn and gulf appearing in their links on their websites so if you want to get the information related to the uh, information which is posted on different websites related to your website or anything which is related to your company, you can get these details uh, by typing in all in URL. Now if I want to find information uh, related to a link, I can type in link and then colon and i can type www.arabnews.com and it would open um, a website um, which is saying that arab news is uh, uh, this is the website which is the link of it and anything which is related to arab news posted anywhere else would be available to you 
now that's how we gather the information which is a passive reconnaissance uh, about any target about your own website about your own servers and the information related to your own business now we'll try to see another website which is uh, uh, email header tracer now what email header tracer uh, helps us in finding out all the locations and the related details of the sender who is actually sending you an email if for example you received an email which is a spam or a threatening email or anything like that you can find all relevant details of those uh, of the sender by tracing the header of the email now there are different ways through which you get the header details of an email we can see on gmail today that how can we get the details of any specific email that we have recently received as you can see i have opened my gmail and uh, once you'll open your email you can click on these three dots over here and then you can go to show original now if you will click on show original it would show you the details of the uh, email from where you have received it and what are the relevant details and all that information so since that's important to us what you'll do is you'll click on copy to clipboard and then you can close your mailbox and then you can paste the header over here and press lookup as you can see that it has shown us all the details that the email actually came from this IP address from United States of America from Georgia Atlanta and these are the geographical coordinates of it the internet service provider of the sender is the rocket science the local time domain net speed and all the relevant details are appearing over here which would help us in tracing that who actually sent you an email so it works for different uh, emails for all emails regardless if you are using gmail or hotmail or yahoo you will be able to find the header of the email it's, it's even available in your microsoft outlook so you can copy the header from there and get the relevant details now this is a free version of it there are lots of paid uh, tools available on the internet where you can pay and get even more detailed information about the email headers so that was about the basics of reconnaissance uh, i hope you liked it kindly subscribe to the channel we'll be posting lots of videos related to ethical hacking on this channel thank you very much